Hi everyone, this is the Santorini Dave guide to getting around the island of Santorini. In this video, we explore your various transportation options. Let's get right into it. You may be curious about whether to rent a car or quad, and how easy is it to take the public bus, how expensive is it to use taxis or private transportation, and the cost-benefit analysis for each choice. Overall, where you stay and what type of experience you want to have can help guide your choices of how you get around Santorini. If your visit is short and you plan to focus on the main caldera towns of Fira and Ia, then renting a vehicle probably isn't necessary. Later in the video, we'll explore different options for renting a vehicle, which can be a good choice if you plan to explore the island and visit different beaches and wineries. Now, everything featured in this video is explained in greater depth in our Santorini travel guide at santorinidave.com. Plus, you can find links to our other detailed videos, including where to stay, things to do, best restaurants, best hotels, best wineries, boat tours, and more in the description below this video. Here's some helpful information for your arrival to Santorini. The airport is located five and a half kilometers from Fira. To get from the airport to your hotel, we recommend to arrange for private transfer through your hotel or a pre-booked service like welcome pickups. When flights arrive, taxis are often in short supply and waits can be long, so it's helpful to avoid this frustration. If you've pre-arranged a ride, your driver will be waiting for you outside the arrivals hall with a sign with your name on it. The cost for this is only slightly more than the cost of a taxi. If you've pre-booked a rental car, You'll sign your papers at a desk outside arrivals, walk across the parking lot, and be on your way. There's also an airport express bus that runs non-stop between Fira and the airport, which you can catch just outside the terminal, costs roughly 2 euros, and takes about 10 minutes. Visitors arriving on ferries from Athens and other islands arrive at the Athenios Ferry Port, or New Port, which is nearest to Fira, but definitely not within walking distance. Your options to get to your hotel are by bus, taxi, private car or shuttle service, or private transfer arranged via your hotel. Generally, taking the bus is the easiest and cheapest option. Buses from the port go to the Fira bus terminal for two euros, and the ride takes about 20 minutes. Schedules to and from the port are timed to match the ferry arrivals, and luggage is easily stored under the bus. If you've pre-arranged transportation, then your driver will be waiting with a sign with your name on it. If you're arriving at the Santorini port and plan to rent a car, the best pickup locations are either the Santorini airport or downtown Fira. You can either take a public bus or pre-book a private transfer to pick up your vehicle in these locations. In high season, there is sometimes a bus between the ferry port and the airport, but it's never a sure thing. Although it might seem easier to pick up your car at the ferry port, we find it helpful to avoid the traffic here and driving the steep and narrow switchbacks from the port to the clifftop. Some hotels on the island do provide free pickup and drop off at the airport or ferry port. Let's have a look at using the public bus system on Santorini, which is very convenient and easy to use. Buses are the cheapest mode of transportation besides walking and typically cost between two to three euros depending on your destination. Buses are air conditioned, safe and reliable though not always exactly on schedule. Tickets are purchased when boarding and by cash only. There is a kiosk in the main bus terminal for general information, but tickets are purchased on board. Tickets are sold individually without transfers, and there are no daily or weekly passes. There is frequent bus service between Fira and Ia, which takes about 30 minutes and departs roughly every 20 to 30 minutes. These buses pass by Emera Vigli and Firo Stefani with limited stops along the length of the route, so you can get from some but not all points along the Caldera footpath to a bus stop relatively easily. Regular service between Fira and the other most popular destinations on the island runs roughly every 30 to 60 minutes and includes service to Pyrgos, Kamari, Akrotiri, Parissa, Megalachori, the airport, ferry terminal, and some popular beaches. As Fira is the main bus hub of Santorini, you will need to connect through Fira to get between other destinations. Surprisingly, there are not many taxis on Santorini, so don't expect one to be available when you most need one, including arriving by plane or ferry, or late afternoons and into the evening. There is a taxi stand at the bus terminal in Fira, 
and taxis often congregate at the bus station in Ia as well. Santorini taxis are unmetered, and prices are negotiated before starting your trip. A taxi ride from the ferry port to Fira should cost around 30 euros, between 30 to 45 euros to Ia, and around 35 to 45 between Fira and Ia. Also, you can expect taxis to be more expensive in the evening. Taxis on Santorini only accept cash in euros and cannot be paid for by credit card, and, as in all of Greece, have a strict four-passenger limit. The most reliable and easiest way to schedule rides ahead of time on Santorini is to use welcome pickups, which is only slightly more expensive than a taxi and is very convenient. If you do choose to rent a vehicle, we recommend picking up your rental from the Santorini airport even if arriving by ferry. The airport is in the center of the island and a short taxi or bus ride from the port and all towns. All the airport rental car desks are within a few feet of each other. It's easy to get your car, then walk across the parking lot and drive away. On the other hand, rental car pickup at the ferry port and in Fira can be busy and chaotic. If you're going to rent your own vehicle, first you'll need to obtain an international driver's permit, which is best done before you begin your trip to save time and money. These are available through government authorized organizations such as AAA or CAA or online. We do want to stress that you consider safety. Each year in Santorini, there are many accidents involving tourists and rented vehicles, which lead us to suggest not renting scooters and quads. Though inexpensive to rent and the easiest to find parking for, they can be dangerous and you are very exposed if you end up in an accident. All of this said, renting a vehicle does provide greater freedom and enable you to explore lesser known parts of the island. Signage is well marked, making it pretty easy to find your way and you'll see and experience much more of Santorini's beautiful landscape. If you know you're planning to visit wineries or take a boat excursion, know that most tours typically include pickup and drop-off at your hotel. Vehicle rental offices are located in the main towns, as well as at the airport, and it is possible to rent for only part of your visit. In the caldera towns of Fira, Ia, and Amerivigli, parking can be challenging. There are multiple free lots in each place, as well as limited paid parking. We provide detailed maps in our Santorini travel guide that shows where these are located. Another option for getting around is to use a private transfer service or tour guide, which any hotel can arrange. This is the most expensive option, but means less weight, no parking hassles, and no need to figure out any navigation on your own. Check out SantoriniDave.com for the most comprehensive information about Fira and Ia, the port and airport, best beaches, wineries, and more. We've also got lots of other great travel guides to Greece and Europe at SantoriniDave.com and across this YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to see more super useful travel videos about Greece and beyond from SantoriniDave.com. Thanks for watching.